trash day today, guys. The trash man coming around on Tuesday. I missed him last week. So that means I had an extra load of trash. And when I miss him, it's not good on the house because the missus do not like that at all. Guys, I want to talk about uh, two videos I uploaded yesterday. And that was unintended, okay? The second part of that was supposed to come out today. I don't know how to... The numbers got crossed to where that video showed up right after the other one. Anyway, I'm talking about those 3-6 Pentastar, those ticking and misfire uh, video. One was the inspection, the diagnosis. Y'all saw, I let y'all get a chance to see um, how I went by to diagnose that particular car. Now, <laughs> it differed from car to car. It depend, to me, it depends on what you're chasing. I was chasing... A misfire you can actually feel the misfire and a, a ticking so I pretty much know what to go to and what to look for but for video and simplicity sake I decided to go this longer route guys it take me a whole lot quicker to figure out what I'm gonna do uh, but I understand when I'm filming for the masses uh, I need to lay my quickness aside and do what I need to do for video sake Alright, so in the middle of posting those two videos, I get a lot of questions, I get a lot of, I get a lot of, um, disappointed people, man, uh, as far as me not going through with the job, actually doing the job on the camera, okay, guys, I cannot film in certain places, alright, I can, however, talk all freaking day at certain places, alright, so, I, I understand, I understand, guys get on YouTube to see how to do something, nobody wants to hear how to do something they want to see how to do it and but some guys do want to hear because they know how to do it they want to not so much hear how to do it they want to hear why it, it, they're doing what they're doing what happened what caused it what what we need to look out for things like that so i understand there's a different audience out there all right so now after waking up this morning and seeing some of the comments and the you know the questions on those videos one two actually three stood out guys and that, those are questions pertaining to how much will this cost? How much will a repair like this cost? How much, how much, how much? Dang, how much that going to cost? I assume they're asking this because they're facing this same problem. And they're not like hands-on do-it-yourself. Like I said before, guys, I understand. Some people watch YouTube videos to see the difficultiness, if that's a word, in doing the job and what they're going to be up to against if they try to do it and or how much it would cost when they go to get theirs done i understand all three of those but guys this question is so open this question is so loaded all right i try to mention every time i do one of these videos that it's hard to give an accurate estimate without inspection we call it teardown time other shops may call it something else all right. At any rate, it means the same thing. You have to go inside the engine to properly give an estimate. Number one, you don't know what's damaged. Okay. Yes, you hear a ticking, but that does not automatically mean you need camshaft. So what do you do when you if you try to give a blind estimate? It's simple. <laughs> you will pad the estimate, guys. Listen. All right. Now, if I was a shop owner and I'm chasing work, okay, I need work, 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 work. All right, and somebody call me, sure, I'm going to give them a, a, a decent looking number. I'm going to say it, that's going to run you between uh, 12 and 2,000. Okay, now I got that middle room. 12 is the minimum, but I have that middle room to work with. All right, now you could potentially scare somebody off with that, guys. Okay, I'm talking from a business minded shop owner. And, and that's the last thing you want to do. It's for that customer to hang up and call somebody else because you done lost them. All right? They're not going to call you back and say, uh, I really like you. I know your price is higher than Joe Blow's, but I like you to do it. No, that customer gone. So what shop's going to do is give you a lowball estimate, all between 500 and 800 knowing that one damn camshaft is $300. Okay, so my point is, guys, and, and the 3.6, uh, the same go for the 5.7 Hemi, guys. Now the five seven Hemi is fairly different because you gotta you're gonna replace. There's a known parts you're gonna replace on the Hemi. That's the camshaft. And keep in mind, there's only one camshaft, guys. It's a cam and block design, so you're not gonna have any shock. All right. The basic 
ticking job on the Hemi is the camshaft and all all the rocker arms. All right, now you can gamble. You got some wiggle room with that because that's probably all you're going to need. Of course, some gaskets and oil changing and, and cooling and all that. But 3.6 is different, guys. It ha It's a dual overhead cam setup with four camshafts. You do not know which one is chewed up until you get in it. All right, now, if you get a padded estimate, somebody say no more than $2,000 between between $15,000 and $2,000. All right, and... You go up there with two thousand dollars, uh, thinking you might need the max. Best believe they're gonna charge you the max. Okay, they're not gonna refund three hundred dollars because they didn't need a, a exhaust cam shaft. They're not gonna say, "All right, you didn't need that, so you get to keep that." No, they want the whole two thousand dollars. Now, on the flip side of that, they're gambling because you couldn't need every part on there, and that is that's included in the two thousand dollars. So there's no extra profit being made that way all right so it's a gamble guys uh you guys got to be careful with getting a blind estimate from people they do not know what's going on inside your engine until they inspect it now if you can get a base price then yeah that's different all right the base price is pretty much a window okay now if i need a guy would sit down at a calculator if i need all four cams this is what it's gonna cost i'm gonna recommend all 24 lifters or rocker arms and in some cases I'm going to recommend, because everybody out there doing rock arms and lifters, guys. I have I don't do lifters because they never need them. I'm not saying yours don't need it. I'm just saying I haven't run across cars that need lifters, lash adjusters, whatever you want to call them. So, but you're going to get that included in your estimate. And that's simply because uh, of the risk factor. Nobody wants to take a risk and you need a lifter after they've done the job. So, naturally, you're going to get the whole thing. My point is behind this whole video, guys. Be careful uh, with blind estimates. All right, they not they not accurate. There's no way they can be accurate. Okay, if somebody tell you, I guarantee you that's what it is. <laughs> They're guessing. They're merely guessing, guys. Uh, guessing can get you in a lot of trouble, guys. So take that uh, take that guess <laughs> at your own risk. Okay, like I say, he's not gonna refund if you give him two thousand dollars and you didn't need no cams. And you need it, and you like me. You only getting 24 rockers, so that's profit in his pocket for those lifters. And you're not gonna go back into your engine and see what he replaced. Now, some customer wise and ask for their old parts. Okay, so that's a different story. All right, I'm here at the dealer, guys. So I'm about to uh, sign off. That's all I have. Thanks for watching.